My name is Ani Rachelo, and I'm the New Mexico coordinator for the Great March for Climate Action. And the reason that we're marching is multifold. Different people are marching for different reasons. But the mission of the march is to change the heart and mind of Americans, our elected leaders, and people around the globe regarding climate action and the need to act now. And how do you see that need? What's going on in the world that makes you feel an urgency about this? There are many reasons for the, the urgency is, is increasing every day. I'd like to refer to Sandra Steingraber. She is a biologist. And recently she spoke in Santa Fe and what she told us was earth shaking. She told us that because of the um, gas that is being taken out of the ground, the shale gas, mm. the methane is released and CO2 is released in that process to the degree that it's acidifying the oceans. And it's acidifying the oceans to the point where the plankton is dying. The plankton supplies 50% of our oxygen our every other breath is produced by ocean plankton and it is dying. That's just one, that's what the biologists are alarmed about. Also, if Lake Powell and Lake Mead, you know, Hoover Dam, <laughs> loses at more than 20 or 30 feet more in, in, in the reservoirs, they will no longer be able to produce hydroelectric power that means they have to go to coal, and coal produces more global warming. It's so disgusting. So those are just two points of urgency, and there are many more. And why is it, what is it for you personally? What made you hmm. get involved? Hmm. I was blessed in receiving an email to ask that I apply for the job of being the state coordinator. Oh. Now, my own background, I've been an artist in uh, a sculptor using uh, environmental materials and bringing the message of, uh, of, of global warming and just our disconnection from nature for decades. Okay. So that's my personal connection, as well as being a trainer in nonviolence. And I'm giving a workshop tonight at 4 o'clock at our next camp um, up in the mountains on Kingian nonviolence, that strand of, of nonviolence based in Dr. Martin Luther King's philosophy and methodology. And nonviolence towards the plants, which are a key to the oxygen whole. on this planet, right? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that our trees are dying from the beetles, you know, in Oregon, in, in Washington, in New Mexico, uh, because of the global warming. That's the violence that we do to them. You're right, the plants mm -hmm. are being deeply affected. Mm -hmm. and, the the, and whole lakes are dying, whole ecosystems are whole dying. Whole e ecosystem. It's yeah. a connected system. People are still right. not getting that. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this? How far are you? How far are you walking personally? I am not wa walking very far that I know of. Um, I will be walking about, let's see, probably about 50 miles. That's a lot. Yeah, that's. Um, it's not a lot when you compare it. That the marches have now walked uh, very close to a thousand miles mm -hmm. from L.A., and they will have walked 3,000 miles by the time they get to Washington, D.C., yes. and about 30 of them have committed to doing that in its entirety. They're doing it for us. That's amazing. Is there any, are there other branches of this march in other states, or is this it? No, this is it. And after New Mexico, we're going to uh, Colorado. We take a, a sharp right turn going mm -hmm. to Denver, and yeah through Nebraska, which is the site where the XL, the Keystone XL pipeline is going through. Right. Then Iowa and Ohio and Illinois. I'm not sure what after that. I know we go through Pennsylvania and then to Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. And 
Is, are they going to greet you? Are they going to be ready for you? Is there a welcoming? Do you expect to have a word from the president? Wouldn't that be wonderful? We'd love a word from the president. We'd like to see more action as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting um, that the Pentagon is really one of the forerunners in renewable energy and installing that. So I think that's one of our, perhaps our silent word from the president um, is that it's coming through the solarization and wind turbines that are being installed, um, military uh, installations around the country and mm. perhaps in other parts of the world, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just hired a Washington coordinator and they'll be organizing the events that, that uh, will be the welcoming uh, for us. In November? In November, November 1st, and we are on time, we are on track. That's, that's amazing. 15 to 20 miles per day. 15 to 20 miles a day. Yes. When did you start? March 1st in March LA. March 1st, okay. Thank you. You're so welcome. Okay.